good day everyone today we are going to see the estimation of motor power requirement calculation based on a manufacturing process so if you got any manufacturing process first of all like depending upon the batch size we are going to identify the motor power requirement or else if you already have a specific equipment and then if you want to check the fitment of a specific process into the equipment then we are going to see the feasibility of the existing motor like whether it is going to work as per the process requirement or not so we will start the calculation part most of you guys should have used the formula but here in this case we are going to extend the power requirement formula a bit considering the design factors and all so we will start now the reactor capacity let the reactor capacity be 10 kL and the density of reaction mass I will consider this as 1000 kg per meter cube and next the reactor diameter let us say it is a 10 kL reactor so the reactor diameter would be approx 2.5 meter so I am just considering these values and I got a turbine a pitch plate turbine inside this 10 kL reactor capacity so the agitator diameter is going to be almost 40 percent to the vessel diameter so I'll be multiplying this with 0.4 and let's say the agitator speed is 120 rpm the power number is almost 1.5 usually we are going to take this power number from a generic agitator curves considering the Reynolds number and here I have taken the power number as 1.5 and now the power requirement is going to be like we will be using the formula P equals to NP multiplied by density multiplied by agitator speed to the power 3 multiplied by agitator dia to the power 5 so this formula will be using it here so np is nothing but the power number it is 1.5 and density is almost 1000 kg per meter cube and here the agitator speed is going to be 120 rpm so i will be converting this into rps by dividing it with 60 to the power 3 and and then the agitator diameter it is 1 meter to the power 5 so it's almost 12000 watts and if you convert this into kilowatts it's divided with 1000 so this is 12 kilowatt this is the power requirement for an agitator based on the process and now we are going to extend this a bit considering the losses and the efficiency and also the safety factors so we are going to consider about the gearbox ratio i mean the gearbox transmission losses that means the amount of losses that happens while transferring the energy from the motor to the agitator shaft so this is going to be almost 10 percent and the next one is the motor efficiency so this is going to be approx 85 percent and the over design factor so over design factor is nothing but a safety factor which you are which will be taking it as approx 25 percent that is we can consider this as a brake overload like whenever a motor is being used above its capacity so it is going to be functional up to a certain limit so let's say if your motor capacity is one kilowatt so the break even load is break over load is going to be almost 25% to that of the existing 1 kilowatt so the break even sorry break over load is going to be almost 1.25 kilowatt and if the motor power consumes above 1.25 kilowatt then the motor gets dripped so considering this so i'll be taking it as 25% additionally so this will be given by almost all the manufacturers so the total power requirement
of motor is equals to the existing 12000 watts plus the same 12000 watts multiplied by the gearbox ratio divided by the motor efficiency and then just multiply it with the excess design factor so this is in watts let's convert this into kilowatts and let's convert this into hp once again by dividing with 746 so this is the actual power requirement now so if you want to steer a mass of approximately 1000 kg per meter cube density at 120 rpm so the power requirement is equals to 26 hp almost so this is how we need to calculate the motor power requirement for a specific operation and whenever you have operating a reactor with high dense masses or high viscous masses so you can use this approach to estimate the motor power requirement hope you like this video and if you got any questions in this video just write a mail to us at pharmacalci823 at the rate gmail.com so if you are really liking our video please subscribe and share it with your dear ones so thanks for watching the video